Arigatou I'm JP Misanta. It's Monday, April 19th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVC Phuket. Visit them on Facebook. Provincial officials are extending the closures for all entertainment venues on the island until May 1st and have added indoor fitness centers and sports facilities to that list while also prohibiting diving and snorkeling, all to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The Phuket Communicable Disease Committee met over the weekend and a notice was revealed on Sunday of the new orders. All entertainment venues and indoor sports facilities and fitness centers have been ordered to close until Saturday, May 1st. Diving and snorkeling is also prohibited during this time. Officials also confirmed that there will be no lockdown in Phuket due to the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic so far in affecting the economy, tourism, people's businesses, and livelihoods. There will also be no quarantine for anyone arriving from anywhere else in Thailand, although new arrivals to Phuket are being urged to install the Mall China COVID-19 tracking app through the gophuket.com website. However, Phuket arrivals will face quarantine in Suratani and Krabi provinces after they issued mandatory 14-day quarantine orders for all arrivals from the Red Zone provinces, which also included Bangkok and Chiang Mai. Phuket arrivals do have to prove that they tested negative for COVID within 72 hours before arriving in either Krabi or Suratani provinces or prove that they've been vaccinated with two injections. Amid this third wave of COVID-19 in Thailand, the tourism and sports minister is set to meet with related agencies this week to discuss the reopening plan for the Phuket sandbox model, which was to see Phuket become the only province in Thailand to receive vaccinated foreign arrivals with no quarantine starting July 1st. In order to do that, Phuket has to achieve herd immunity and have been, has to have vaccinated about 70% of the island's population by then. The spike in COVID-19 cases in many places in Thailand has interrupted that plan, as a limited number of vaccines must also be distributed to other provinces now, making it difficult to allocate a large lot to just one province, in this case Phuket. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. 30 Chelong police officers are being ordered to self-quarantine for two weeks after it was revealed that two people now confirmed as infected with COVID had visit visited the Chelong police station on April 10th and 11th. Phuket Provincial Police Commander Major General Bonsak Noanu is playing down concerns, calling them rumors, saying that 30 cops were ordered to self-quarantine for two weeks as a precaution. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket's famous pink Songtail public buses, which have been operating for decades, they're going to be replaced with 24 electric buses starting October 1st. The plan is part of its drive to make the city, Phuket Town, more environmentally friendly. The buses have been in service since 1947 and replaced rickshaws. An auction is going to be held for the private sector to invest in the electric buses on condition that they be free for students and the elderly. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket actually will be right back after this. For the best mosquito screens available in Thailand, contact PVC Phuket on Facebook today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Marine life experts are confirming that a nest of turtle eggs have been found on the beach by Prom Tep in Rawai, near the southernmost point of the island. Local residents followed turtle tracks to the nest on Lam Pai Beach at 10 p.m. in Rawai on Saturday, and experts from the Phuket Marine Biological Center arrived to inspect the nest. A fence was installed around that area with officers assigned to protect the nest and monitor it 24 hours a day. At this point, experts believe the nest was laid by a green turtle and the nest could contain up to 120 eggs. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. After several days of new record daily highs, Thailand officials reported 1,390 new COVID-19 cases today, down from yesterday's record of over 1,700. The Phuket cases have also risen to 208 total in this latest outbreak, and cases in the island have reached every district of Phuket. 
The new total for Thailand is 43,742 cases since the pandemic began. Also, several COVID deaths were reported over the weekend as the death toll rises to 104 for the nation. 70% of total patients have recovered. Thanks for joining us today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVC Phuket. Check them out on Facebook. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.